Let's take a look at the updates to consumer product design tools. We'll switch to SolidWorks and in this example we're going to be creating this jug. Now this jug for the most part has been created already. We're just going to firstly adjust the sketches that form the main part of the loft for the body. So I'll just jump into this sketch here and we'll start off our style spline tool. So the style spline historically allowed us to create a bezier curve through control points. Functionality in this release has been extended so we can create B spline degree three, degree five and degree seven. And basically that just allows for greater curvature between those points. So let's go ahead and create a degree five B spline. We'll just place a few points down. And we'll roughly try and match the profile of the jug to begin with. Now it's also possible for us to take an existing spline and replace it with a B spline. Now all I need to do here is just adjust my sketch. So we'll just grab these control points until we get the desired result that we're after. That's looking pretty good. I'll also just adjust this sketch. Now here we have a, pli a spline, which is made up of a, a series of points, and it's possible for us to replace this spline with a control, uh, with a convert to style spline command. So as it converts it to sp style spline, we get a much closer representation because we now have the option for degree three B splines. Now we can still change this to a degree five or a bezier curve if need be, but now I've done that, I'm just gonna adjust this sketch to get the result that I'm after. Okay, now if we have a look at the effect that's had on the loft, you can see that's looking pretty good. Now if we just go to the end of the tree, here we have, here we have several surfaces intersecting each other. What I'm going to do is use my surface trim command to pick out the surfaces that I want to keep that's going to make up the body of the jug. So we'll select our trim surface command. We'll select all of those surfaces like so. And within this release, we have three additional options down the bottom for preview. So you'll see here that I've got show excluded surfaces on. Now what that allows me to do is select a surface that I want to keep. As soon as I've selected it, it disappears. And that just then allows me to select through it and very quickly and easily select the surfaces that I want. We have another option here to show included surfaces. So we can use this to verify that what we've actually selected is correct. And we have our old style of showing both included and excluded surfaces. Now, the trim surface command historically would then uh, create one single surface out of this, but it would still be then another command for us to do to turn that surface into a solid. You'll see in this release, we now have the option to create a solid within the trim surface property manager. So providing we create an enclosed volume, this create solid volume solid option will be available to us. The next improvement we see is to the fillet tools. I'll just launch my fillet command. Now, in previous releases, if we wanted to create um, a curvature continuous fillet, it would require us to do it as a face fillet. Uh, now you'll see that in edge fillets, we have the option to define those as curvature continuous. So I can just select this edge here and create my curvature continuous fillet. Very simple, very easy. We'll do the same with the variable fillet. This time we'll go for a symmetric. We'll select our edge and then we'll just apply our control points along the length of that edge. Okay, and as you can see, we have curvature continuous switched on. So let's just complete that feature. That's looking quite good. I'll just use my breadcrumbs to grab hold of the body. 
And then from there, we'll just use our mirror command to mirror that body across the plane. And then we'll go for a shell. So I'm going to leave a uniform thickness of one and a half mil, just removing that top face like so. Okay, the next thing that we want to do here is work out what the internal volume of that jug is. Now, it was possible for us to do this in SolidWorks previously, but what it would involve is us creating a separate solid, which basically encompassed the volume of the, uh, the jug. And then we do a subtract command, subtracting one from the other, and then finding out the, uh, the internal volume uh, after that subtract command. The whole process has been made much simpler in SolidWorks 2016. We now just launch our intersect command, select a face or a plane. In this case, I've selected this plane here, which is gonna represent where I'm gonna fill the jug up to. That's my maximum level. And then I'm gonna select the solid. Within this property manager, I now have an option to create internal regions. So providing that the plane can create so providing the software can create a solid between the plane and the existing solid, it will do. And then if we just hide the original solid away, we're left with the remaining solid. And then we can do a measure command on that solid body to work out what our internal volume is. So just to summarize what we've seen there, Style spline now allows us to create B splines. We have an enhanced user interface for surface trim and intersect. We can convert to solid for more surface operations. We have curvature continuous edge fillets and intersect allows us to automatically create an internal volume. We now switch to Ed for assembly modeling.